Hello, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions. And uh, as I mentioned uh, in our update video, we're going to have a couple videos regarding uh, tow vehicles. And in today's video, we're going to talk about an, acce an accessory for a tow vehicle, and that is uh, a GPS. Now, we've used GPS. Uh, for many, many years. Uh, my first one was just strictly, uh, you know, point A to point B kind of thing. We used it for backpacking and off-roading. The one that we had for the longest time is a Magellan crossover. It featured uh, marine maps, topographical maps, and road maps uh, for North America. And you know, we do a lot of off-roading, hiking, and that, uh, that was uh, a unit that really was worth its weight in gold. But I had no, no idea at the time that we purchased it how much we'd use it for over the road. And when you're pulling a trailer, uh, a good GPS is invaluable. And I've really liked the Magellan uh, GPSs, the way that they give you um, plenty of advanced warning what lane to be in, um, you know, giving you uh, several moves ahead so you can anticipate. Because when you've got a trailer, you can't just, you know, change lanes quickly a lot of times. I can have several vehicles beside me. And so, um, and people nowadays, you turn on your turn signal and they, they want to get in your way. Um, someday I'm gonna do a separate video from all the miles on the road showing some of the stupid and rude and aggressive things people do when they're behind the wheel. Back to GPS. So the one that we uh, have uh, been using this uh, show season, which basically starts in March and April, goes through the end of October, has been the uh, Magellan Roadmate RV9145-LM. This unit is really sweet. I will take a look at it in a minute. I just want to kind of go over some of the key features and, and uh, you know, a uh, little bit what you get. What, what comes in the, in this, with this unit is the Magellan Roadmate uh, GPS receiver. It's preloaded with maps of the United States, Canada, and Puerto Rico. We did use this in Canada, worked great. Um, heavy duty extension mount. Matter of fact, that, the mount it has works beautiful for our truck because it is, it's, it, it has greater range of, of, of adjustability and articulation than any I've ever seen. Um, vehicle power supply, USB cable, 12 volt AC adapter, quick start guide. Blah, blah. Okay. Here's some of the key features of this particular one, and we'll kind of look at it in the vehicle here in a moment. It's got a seven inch touch screen. It's got one touch favorites menu. I really like that. I'll show that to you. Customizable RV routes. We use that a lot. Free lifetime map updates. Highway lane assist. Like I said, towing, that's a valuable uh, asset multi-designation routing, six million points of interest, highway exit points of interest search, um, spoken street names. It's got Good Sam Trailer Life directory. And there are some that you can get that, you know, come from Good Sam and so forth. I believe this is a much better GPS unit and it has the Good Sam stuff anyway, so. And then it identifies pet friendly sites. And so, anyway, I think it's a real sweet little unit. So let's go, uh, let's go to the truck and take a look at it. Okay. First, let me show you. This is the one that uh, we used for many years. This is the, the Magellan crossover. Great little unit. This thing's been, been through everything. It's... Uh, I made a custom mount for it, 
so that we could have it on the dash of our Yamaha Rhino. And it's seen probably 6,000 miles on the Rhino. It uh, has been, you know, tens of thousands of miles in vehicles and, uh, and in hiking. Great little unit. But that's not what the video is about today. Just uh, this is what kind of sold me on, on the Magellans. So this is the one that we currently use. Turn it on here. It, uh, it is really a nice setup. This is um, the one touch that it talks about. So I can hit that anytime. And you have up to 20 of these things. So it'll show you, you know, rest areas, what, what is programmable. You choose which ones you want. And so if I don't select one, it automatically goes back to the other screen. But, I mean, it is really nice to have those preloaded to where I can see them very easily and select very easily. Then I can choose default settings here, what it shows. You know, there's several of them. Here's elevation, speed, time, and direction. You can easily turn the... Uh, the sound on and off, change the uh, brightness and so forth. Really like the fact that these things are easy to do because there's times I don't want to listen to it and there's times all I do is listen to it because I'm making you know a lot of maneuvers and I don't really have time to look at the screen. I'm basically there. But it does a split screen and shows you what the exit's going to look like, what the signage looks like. I mean it is really nice. Um, Here's the main menu, the addresses. You got an uh, address book that you can go to quick and easy. You can set for intersections, you know, previous addresses, points of interest, set up an itinerary. Um, and and you can you can set up uh, how these are too. So here's the the one that's kind of specific to this and, and and reason why we went with this was for the vehicle setting right here. You get to set your vehicle profile. So we've got it set for our particular uh, fifth wheel trailer, which is what was used last, but you can set different vehicle profiles and it just uh, allows you to be forewarned and not worry about going down a road or a route that your rig is not capable of doing. So, you know, I'm 13 feet high, so I got to be careful. I can't just pull in anywhere. I can't go just any route. And so, and at 54 feet long, I can't just maneuver anywhere. So this lets you know, it also lets you know if, you know, if, if the route includes a dirt road or something else that may not be suitable, it'll tell you about it and you can make the choice to go or not to go. So, very nice unit. Um, I've got it sitting low here. So, you know, it. we don't get a lot of glare on the screen. Um, both uh, myself and my wife can look at it or whoever the passenger may be. Uh, so that's nice. Nice big screen, easy to see and read. Also, um, uh, they make a hood for it so that you can have a hood over it to, uh, you know, or, or sun visor type thing to, to knock off glare on the screen. And uh, so, but I, I like this particular spot. There's a cubby hole down here in the Dodge, particular year that I have. And so that section cup goes way back in there and catches up above. And I still have all the room in there to, to stash stuff. So really nice. The thing uh, uh, disconnects real quick and easy. Let me show you that. See if I can do it. I'm going to do it with my left hand, which I don't normally use to do this. So I disconnect the power. Wants to know if you want to power down or use the battery. Power down. 
simply push this button, slides up and out, done deal. Look how thin that is. This is just a real nice, goes back into place that quick and easy. Really love it. It uh, comes on quick. One of the things I like about this thing, we're in a metal um, storage building, and so it still acquires a signal. It takes it a few seconds, but it amazes me we're we're surrounded. You know, this is a metal building that we're in, and so it uh, it's still able to acquire a signal. So anyway, that's uh, my uh, take on the uh, Magellan. Um, which model is this again? Uh, it's a Magellan Roadmate and the model number I gave you at the beginning. But anyway, I give it two thumbs up. Highly recommend it. We've been driving with it for quite a few months uh, from Arizona to Canada and it's uh, it's been a good unit. See you next time.